Regis Pro Gray or another one of his Regis, Regis interviews, he said, yo, listen, man, he go in. He go in Devin Haney with a brutal knockout, bro. He's been saying this, though. And, like, I get different readings from Regis Pro Gray. Sometimes when he talks, it kind of feel like he tries to overly convince himself that he's gonna get the knockout. You gotta listen to like the words he say, a lot of the repetitive stuff that he repeats after he says it. He'll repeat certain things, like I'm telling y'all now, this, a lot of times when people say that kind of stuff, it kind of, it's a reason for that. They kind of like try to psych their mind out. He keeps saying he's playing it off in his head. He might very well be telling the truth. He probably is playing it off in his head. But sometimes, uh, in a lot of cases, they like people try to convince themselves or something. They they do that a lot. He also was saying how you know, <laughs> Dev ain't from, he ain't from the Bay. He's like man, Dev from the fucking Las Vegas, man. <laughs> it's like people over there were telling him man, fuck Dev it up. Like he said pretty much, people over there don't even fuck with Dev Haney like that. You know, cause uh, Bill Haney is from the town, you know, from Oakland, and. Devin, I guess, attaches himself to Oakland. You know, Oakland is a rough city. You know, stuff like that. That goes to what Evans, Tobler, and Regis been kind of trying to say about Devin Haney. Like, yo, you're trying to be street and you're not really street. And that's true. That's kind of, that would be like the equivalent. I'm not saying Devin Haney is trying to be a street dude. But uh, as far as Bill, Bill said Devin used to fight a lot in school. So sometimes it's not even always about where you live. It's about your blood. You know, so your bloodline. You know, like that, that kind of like if Jay-Z, like Blue Ivy, his daughter, she don't know nothing about living in Marcy. She 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 lives in a totally different world than what Jay-Z lived in. So that'd be like if, if you ask Blue Ivy where she from, she'd be like, yeah, from Marcy. No, you ain't your father is. You from wherever the fuck they live at. Uh, what, what, Beverly Hills? Yo, know, so you see Blue Ivy running around here. When she get older, trying to, you know, be a be a rapper, talking about gangster shit. Hey, you don't know about that. It's kind of like T.I. son, like King, same shit. You ain't gangster. You you don't, you don't know what that is, bro. You don't, ha you don't have to know what that is, and that's a good thing. You know, don't glorify it. Not saying that's Devin's case, but that's what Evans Tobler and Regis is trying to say. Like Devin is trying to be something he ain't. He's trying to be from Oakland. He really from a nice neighborhood in, in Nevada. It's, it's hilarious, but interesting. Um, you know, this whole thing when it comes to where you from and all that. Um, I'm I'm a, I'm a believer of like. If you grew up somewhere in your, in your childhood, that's where you from. If you born somewhere, that's different. Like Jay-Z, he wasn't even born in Brooklyn. He was born upstate, but he grew up in Brooklyn. So he's from Brooklyn. He is from Marcy. That's where he was raised at. He was just born somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. You know, um, shit. Um, there's a lot of rappers from the city, from our city, that's not even from where they, they not even born where they live, where they grew up at. Or they live certain other places and then they move somewhere else, you know, other boroughs and shit like that. But that's, that's just the way it is. Uh, in, in Devin Haney's case, man, he's just living his life, man. I don't see him as trying to be no thug. He seemed real laid back. He just, he just, he just enjoying himself, man. I don't, I don't look at Devin as that. I don't know where Regis and him getting that. That from Devin when they think he a thug and all that shit. I don't get that from Devin, bro. I just get Devin just a young dude, want to be flashy, getting money. That's what I get from Devin. I don't get, I don't see Dev out here trying to get gangster. And then they, they'll probably bring up the gun shit. So what? I mean, what, he can't have a gun on him? Like, he's a fucking rich dude, wealthy. It's, it's wolves out here. So he got every right. Under his second, not even under his second amendment. Fuck the second amendment right now. His natural right for defense. He can carry a weapon if he wants to to protect his life. Cause ain't nobody gonna do it for him but him. 
not even a bodyguard protector the way he can. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. So all that, he got to... Just because somebody carried a gun on me, you trying to be gangster. It's just, come on, man. You, you trying to be smart. That's all that mean. But we just said it was harping on that shit a little too much, man. Like, they need to... Like, if Dad was out here, you know, pretty much saying, you know, yo, I'll, I'll body bag you. Or Dev is up here trying to be a rapper, rapping about selling drugs. Then I understand. But he ain't out here doing that. He out here just trying to fight, be the best. And he said he gonna whoop ass. And we'll see. What a knife. Just my take, man. Excuse the stuff he knows. Weather crazy out here. Anyway, just remember, like, box let me know what y'all think. Will Regis Proler get the brutal knockout of Devin the Dream Haiti? Or not? Or is he nervous or he is underconfident? I'll catch y'all later on the next one.